Hi, welcome back to Letty Paints. Today I will be giving you the do's and don'ts of removing a henna tattoo. We must avoid water at all costs. Never use water when taking off henna. I had this henna on all night long. I slept on with it. I just protected with, um, I put on a sack. And here's my olive oil and a candle that I will be using. Now I have this plastic lid ready to so that all the dried up henna falls in it and i am using a butter knife to take it off do not use a sharp knife for this and another option is credit cards one of those old used up credit cards you can use that too that works wonderfully the palm of the hand always the, the henna gets darker in that area always it's the skin is more absorbent so it always gets darker compared to the other side of the hand. I know it's not traditional for us in uh, Western cultures to do it on our palm of our hand, but it's very popular in the Middle East. And I wanted to show you guys how, how dark it gets on the palm of your hand compared to the other side. The other oils you can use, in case you don't have olive oil handy at home, you can use coconut oil, almond oil, or one of my favorites, Vaseline. Vaseline works beautiful because it's thicker and it stays on longer, especially if you're washing dishes, which you should be wearing gloves, actually. And Vig's Vapor Rub is another option. It's just like Vaseline, but with um, menthol. I sped up the video a little bit here. If you are getting a henna tattoo on your shoulder, upper arm, on your back, it's best to take a shower prior because it's recommended not to expose yourself to water for about 15 hours, which is a whole day. So either shower beforehand or just oil up after if you cannot shower first. I recommend to leave the henna paste on for a nice stain. Leave it on for about at least four hours. If you have light skin from really light, really fair to olive skin if you are darker possibly eight hours will be best and then of course taking care of it after after you remove it because you can have the best henna in the world but if you expose it to water before time it, it's not gonna mature properly and it takes about three days to mature really nice when I want my tattoos to last a while, I take really, really good care of them for the first three days, is always protecting with my oil, uh, in this case, Vaseline. And I don't take too many showers, just one per day on the first three days, applying that, not using hot, extremely hot water and no scrubbing in that area where the tattoo is at. Well, that took a while, but I'm done. I'm just wiping off whatever residue and I'm going to oil it up. It's all done and it's worth it. From the fingers, they get dark faster than this section right here, but this section gets darker faster than the section from the wrist to the elbow. Now heat henna likes the heat and it gets the, the stain gets darker when you expose yourself to heat you can even go outside to the sunlight and, and just relax out there and especially if you live out in the desert where it's really hot that helps a lot all right so i'm going to oil it up and i'm good 
and here's my design three days later it got nice and dark it's already coming off the index finger right there because i used a lot of water on the first three days i did um put gloves on whenever i was washing a lot of dishes but uh, still when i just wash my hands to go to eat this is what happened on this side it didn't get as dark here it did but as i go further up on my hand it didn't get as dark as it has in prior occasions now see how the henna on my right foot is darker and my left foot is not as dark well what happened here i put on the henna i left the henna on for about five hours scraped it off oiled it up and went to bed while i was sleeping my left foot was exposed to the cold air i forgot to put socks on silly me anyhow so it got exposed to more cold air and it didn't warm up enough so this is an example to show you how important temperature is next time i will put socks on so in case while i'm sleeping and one foot gets uncovered i won't have this situation happen again i hope you found this video helpful remember to like and subscribe to get more tips about henna in the near future Ciao, ciao. Bye.